girls. You've got stuff filling your stockings. There's my stocking over there. It's your stocking. Golden got a stocking. Whose is this? Is this an extra one? No, that's mine. <laughs> Why is it empty? I don't know. Santa didn't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. My daddy used to have a saying that he would use when we were being particularly, you know, impossible. And it was, if you think you're going to do X, Y, Z, you can cancel Christmas on that. And I think that phrase is very appropriate in these situations because what, what are we doing? You're not going to get a cookie in the afterlife for allowing your family to walk all over you, disrespect you, and disregard your feelings. We're going to have to put an end to this, okay? It's not going to be somebody that comes and saves us from being disrespected. And the way that we put it into this is by giving the same energy that we receive back, okay? As women, as mothers, we are meant to be multipliers, meaning if they give you 10, you can multiply that to 100. But if they give you zero, then guess what happens? They get zero. This is a part of home training that we as parents as mothers especially, have to give our children no matter how bad it hurts. I love seeing the faces of my children, the faces of my man just light up on Christmas Day because of all the Christmas magic that nine times out of ten we as women have provided for the entire household. But let me tell you something else. I also stand on business. So let me bust my ass and fill everybody's stocking and bust my ass putting out the favorite, you know, the, the most loved gifts and everybody's favorites and, you know, really putting thought and effort into decor and food and cooking and wrapping gifts and all that stuff. Let me do all that and then wake up on Christmas morning and my family has nothing for me. Guess who won't be doing that shit again? Me. Those are the things that build character in your children, okay? Those are the things that teach people around you how to treat you. And sometimes you have to stand on business with your own family and sometimes with your own kids. We got to start thinking towards the future. What type of children are we leaving for future, okay? What, what type of kids would be roaming around in the future once they're fully grown and they've watched you be stepped all over their entire life. They grow up to be the type of people that think it's okay to always be receiving and never have to give, or they turn out to be people pleasers who are out here just giving, 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 giving while still being walked all over. So ladies, if your stocking wasn't filled last year, I'm going to need you to act accordingly, okay? If you don't get anything, no rest, no gift, no special accolades for Mother's Day, on Father's Day, when that comes around, you already know what to do. Let's stop playing the victim and let's, let's be a little bit of the villain for a while.